this is a good time of year to think about tradition and ritual. One of the things that helps us know who we are is to know where we came from. And part of where we came from is the kinds of rituals and traditions that we engage in, look forward to, participate in. And it can be anything from gift giving or food or religion or sports or <laughs> can be just about anything. And uh, I think for most people, if you think back um, in your life, in your time as a child, there are things that you can think of that make you smile. Some maybe not so much, <laughs> but they may have been important uh, aspects of how your family interacts with one another. May not always be family, maybe friends as well. But there are certain kinds of things that we remember that we kind of always did. And uh, that can be really comforting and really fun, sometimes really funny. Uh, but then what do we do when new people come into our lives? Do we include them? Do we share? Do we abandon our rituals and traditions? Um, so think about that. Uh, if you think about children who grow up and leave home and marry other people, inevitably the other people are going to have different rituals and traditions than you do. So. Part of the fun is to share the things that you've always done with somebody else, and then maybe to engage in some things that other people have done, even if they might seem odd or different or strange. Um, it's fun to find out why things are important to somebody, but it really does help us understand you know, where we came from, what are some of the values, what are some of the things that are important to us, and why do they matter? Because there's a grounding in being able to know where you came from and the kinds of things that are important to you. So have fun with them and pay attention to them and create those memories in an intentional way for children. That's really, really fun to have things to look forward to. So uh, pay attention to the things that are fun and interesting in your family.